गाइज दिस इज स्मृति वेलकम टू माई चैनल इफ यू गाइज एन यू यूर वेलकम एंड इफ यू गाइज ऑलरेडी बीन सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग टूडेज वीडियो इज एन एक्स्ट्रा स्पेशल वन टूडे वी गोन टू डिस्कवर दी ओल्ड फेवरेट दैट पीपल वर रेविंग अबाउट बैक इन द डेज सो वी गोन टू रिवाइंड द इयर्स एंड गो इन टू दैट एरा एंड वी गोन टू अप्लाई ऑल दोज प्रोडक्ट्स टूडे एंड दिस इज द लुक दैट आई केम आउट विथ आई रियली लव द वे हाउ एवरीथिंग टर्न आउट so if you guys want to see how i achieved this look then please keep on watching for starting off this video i mean if you think about a primer what primer do you think that people used to wear like 4 5 years ago i would say and there's one primer that always jumps out to me and that's my benefits professional primer i mean am i right or am i right i mean i knew everybody and their moms using this primer and and for a reason i would say this is like my go to pore filling primer and i absolutely love it especially if you have like texture and pores to hide before applying the foundation this works beautifully i generally concentrate this right on the center of my face that's where i wear it i actually have my laneige lip sleeping mask on and for my brows again anastasia beverly hills brow pencil that's what we have <laughs> now let's move on to the foundation and there was so much buzz when this foundation came in the market and i mean for a reason this is till now my favorite one of my favorite drugstore foundation and i'm talking about my l'oreal infallible fresh wear and i'm in the shade golden sun i mean i absolutely love this if you want coverage but if you still want your foundation to feel like fresh and not heavy oh my god are you serious do you have to more right now bear with me go away more somewhere else uh if you've not tried this do me a favor go and try it and then you'll know the hype about it but this is by far one of my favorite like i would say top 3 foundations from drug store or in general i would say this would definitely fall in that look how flawless does that look and you're not even like breaking your bank for that it's amazing today we're going to break into those old favorites that we had some of them are new to me but i used to hear it all the time so that's why a few products really jumped on to me to do this video and uh, that is what we are doing now let's move on to the concealer and i used to hear so much about this concealer and this is my cubicle true blend undercover concealer and this is in the shade sand beige i used to love love this concealer my favorite i would say from the affordable category would be uh, the color pop concealer but this was like all the hype after shape tape came into uh, play i mean yeah i don't have shape tape but if i did i would have gotten that into this video because yeah shape tape was some other thing altogether i would say so i'm going to take my sponge and concentrate this underneath the eyes This works really good with a brush as well as a sponge. But right now I am like going through that phase of sponge again. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll see till when does it like last. But I am more of a brush person. But recently, actually after trying my Elf CC cream is when I started falling back in love with my sponge. And there's no denial like the finish that a sponge gives i mean i don't think anybody else can give like that natural skin type finish now to set our under eyes you guys tell me who remembers this this i could not live without this palette i mean i really could not that's how much i used to love this and i'm talking about my wet and wild contouring palette I have a huge pan on it and for a reason I have gone through like at least 3 of these palettes for sure and it's because of that banana shade I love that underneath my eyes it smooths out everything you're paying like a couple of bucks for this but the powder is so amazing 
is it's just unreal so i'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes and wherever we have applied our concealer i should actually conceal my eyes also when we are at it so i'm just going to take the same concealer and prime our eyes too and i basically do this so that i can like get rid of any discoloration on the eyes uh, to combat any veins which are showing on the eyes i mean this is a great way to just hide everything and just give it a, like a smooth base for everything to blend on top and i'm going to set that with the same banana powder from the wet and wild palette just like that now once we are all primed and set just let's just set the whole face and for that i'm going to take my maybelline's fit me powder i mean this is a beautiful powder from the drug store i used to use it all the time now because there are so many powders in the industry it just took a back seat for me but nonetheless i absolutely enjoy this powder and i'm in the shade 25 medium I mean look at the complexion it looks flawless it's so beautifully like laid down the base is so beautiful now let's move on to the bronzer now you guys tell me what is the bronzer that comes into your mind comment down in the comment section below so that i know what is your guess i'll give you a hint it's from nars which bronzer do you think i'm talking about <laughs> i wait of course this is nars laguna bronzer everybody and their grandparents were using this i mean this is such a beautiful bronzer this was like a cult favorite for so many people and for a reason i mean this blends beautifully the tone is beautiful on so many skin tones i would say uh, you can definitely build it up and it's such a smooth finely milled powder i absolutely love this I would say it's not like warm toned it's not cool toned it's a very neutral toned bronzer at least on my skin tone I would say uh, it's it's a very good bronzer I am more like on a neutral tone person I would say I can still lean towards warmer tones uh, but I'm definitely more on the neutral side I mean I don't need to like rave about any of these products these are like well known in the industry and for a reason uh but yes for sure this was such such a huge hit in the market like a few years ago now there are so many bronzers out in the market like people have just forgotten about our nars <laughs> and i'm here to talk about it again <laughs> i'm quickly going to just contour my nose a tiny little bit nothing much just a little bit just to give it some definition to the nose can you see the difference it makes a huge difference i'm not doing it perfectly i just need some kind of a shadow so that it can like define my natural shape of the nose i i generally do like my nose i really do like my nose um it's pretty straight <laughs> and um yeah i just want to accentuate the feature and like not change the shape i generally whenever i'm doing this step i join it to my brows so that everything can like flow on top of each other and then i just go on top of it with the same powder brush and just brush off so that there's no harsh lines just like that I would say we'll come to the blush later because I don't know what kind of an eye look am I going for but for the highlighter this and there's one more product those are the products that really jumped the idea for this video and I'm talking about Max Double Gleam highlighter I mean can you open it yeah <laughs> who doesn't remember Max highlighters and this is a beautiful champagne gold highlighter look at the way it's reflecting and I do not have artificial lighting it's just the lights that are coming from the window and look at that I mean this is the one that I grabbed from Marshalls very very recently I've not tested this out before so I'm very very excited about that So let's dive into the highlighter. I don't know how blinding it is. Yeah. 
pretty blinding <laughs> but pretty smooth too is what i'm seeing like this was one of like the favorite highlighters that were in that was in the industry back like some years ago i mean everybody was talking about it now nobody's even talking about mac anymore and mac was like the daddy of the makeup industry am i right like do you guys have like a favorite product from mac that you're still using if yes comment down let me see what all are your like favorite products from the mac that you're still loving i do not have much things from mac actually one more product would be coming later in this video so yeah stay tuned for that <laughs> so let's move on to the eyes and then we'll go back to the uh, blush now the other product that that was the inspiration of this video was the domini cosmetics latte palette this was so popular like i would say 2 3 years ago it was so so popular everybody used to think about it and if you've not seen this palette i mean where were you living <laughs> like this is such a beautiful color story for everyday look but she also has put like two pops of colors just to create a little bit of interest and uh, yeah today we're going to use this first of all i'm going to take the shade called vanilla cream that's that banana powder from the palette and i'm just going to dust it all over my eyelid just to get the feel of like the pigmentation and what i can see is it's it is super pigmented as you can see there's a little bit of kickback from the palette but not much now let's move on to the shade called caramel i'm going to tap off the excess it appears to be super pigmented oh wow this is this is an amazing transition shade Even if you're going for like a cool tone look or a warm tone look, I love these shades. It's basically like a a touch darker than my skin tone, and that's what I would prefer if you are going for like any transitioning shade for your eye look. It's blending amazingly. Okay, I'm going to use the same shade, tap off the excess, and run it on my lower lash line too. Now, what should I do? I'm going to dip into that shade called Hazelnut from the palette. It's this chocolatey brown shade. Oh wow. Look at that. A warm toned brown. And such a beautiful chocolatey brown. Oh my god, I wish I could do. Should I do a halo eye? I'm feeling I'm feeling like it. Should I do it, guys? Can I do it? Let's do it, right? I'm going to put that same shade in my inner corners too and just blend everything together. I love when I play with like such blendable shadows and especially it just works so beautifully for a halo eye. I'm going to do the same thing on my lower lash line. I'm so impressed by the shade. I cannot even tell you. Okay, now let's dip into that shade called Mocha that appears to be super super dark. It's the cool tone chocolatey brown shade the darkest shade in the palette i'm just going to lightly apply it towards my outer corners just to deepen this whole look together i recently picked this out on the sephora sale and this was going for 21 dollars and i was like what domini cosmetics Twenty one dollars. Add it to the cart. <laughs> That's basically how I roll. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you. I'm Smithy. <laughs> I'm gonna dip lightly into that shade called Pumpkin Spice, that orangey shade from the palette, just to give a little more warmth. And I just dip that into my crease. Just excited to use all the shades as much as I can on my eyes. <laughs> just like that so that we can see like a tiny little bit of orange peeking through i'm going to apply the same shade pumpkin spice on my lower lash line so what i'm going to do is uh, because our center of the eyelid is a little messed up i'm just going to apply a tiny little bit of the concealer just to clean up the mess that we have created during blending 
and I'm just gonna take any flat shader brush and then just clean up just the center of the eyelid nothing much just a tiny little bit just like that now just to blend the edges I'm gonna take that shade hazelnut from the palette that we used earlier and just gonna blend right where the concealer is meeting that darker shade which is mocha I love that the shades are all like coffee inspired you guys know how much I love my coffee I mean this just brings me happiness <laughs> that's what it is so for my lower lash line I'm gonna dip into that purple shade called double shot from the palette I just want to no rhyme reason why I just want to oh that's such a beautiful that's such a beautiful purple wow with that orange wow that's amazing you guys know how much i love purples on my eyes like on any eyes for that matter but especially brown eyes love it i was resisting myself to do a purple eye today i really was because i generally do a lot of purple eyes i was like let's just stay in the neutral family today i love my neutrals but i do love my purples too love that i just absolutely love that okay cool so for the shimmers all of them are so pretty i mean if you've not seen it espresso macchiato and creme brulee let me just swatch it for you guys look at that all of them are so pretty this is more of that true antique bronze shade then you have like a a champagne a champagne gold shade but there's so many sparkle of like glitter running not like chunky glitter but definitely has some kind of a shimmer particle running through and this is such a beautiful rose gold shade this actually duplicates this sleeve so well like love it i think we're going to do the rose gold shade and the champagne shade so because I cannot stick with one. I'll, I'll try my best. Let me see. <laughs> so I'm going to take that creme brulee shade. Right in the center. Oh my god. This is so creamy. And if you guys want more looks with this palette. Definitely do let me know. I knew even in this like. After so many years. When this was on sale. The palette flew off the shelves. So I mean. I know that it is in demand. But if you want to see more looks, definitely let me know. I'm just making a mess all over my desk. Okay. I'm just going to take that blending brush with no additional product, whatever was on the brush. I'm just blending out the edges. And then I'm going to dip into that shade Macchiato right in the center. Oh my God. Look at that. It just pops like crazy. And then I'm just going to blend everything together. Now I'm going to take a teeny tiny pencil brush, dip into that shade called Macchiaro and then drop that in the inner corners. Such an amazing shade. I'm also going to put that underneath my brow. It gives an illusion of a lifted brow, which I absolutely love. Just do a little bit on the nose. Look at that. That's amazing. Yeah, she actually does mention that. Uh, that her powders can be used on face. Let's just try. I'm just going to dip into the vanilla cream. Oh, wow. See how bright. You just brightened the under eye so much. Wow. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm just going to finish off my eyes with some liner and mascara. For my liner, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Mega Liner super famous <laughs> and i'm going to use my l'oreal lash paradise which everybody was talking about i'll finish off my eyes and i'll get right back i really love the way how the eyes turned out now just to get that orangey tones from the background into consideration i am going to use an orange rusty tone on my waterline and this is actually pixie's matte sienna i thought that would be really great and that would like bring a lot of the orangey tones out see that's so beautiful. Okay, let's see. 
I love the way how a liner can get the orangey tones out. Love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, now let's move on to the blush. And the blush that I was talking about is from Persona Cosmetics. And I'm going to dip into that shade called Carmel because we've gone pretty like pinky purpley tones and like neutral. Even I think even Georgia would look like pretty nice. Let's actually compare. I think Carmel would be a little better. Yeah, I think Car let's mix, right? Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Now let's move on to the lips. And for the lip liner, I'm going to use my KKW Beauty's lip liner. And this is in the shade Nude 2. I picked this out on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. Oh, that's perfect. When these came, like everybody was talking about it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> now... I actually had options for lips. I have to recommend all these three lipsticks to you guys because they're so beautiful. And two, three years ago, they were all the rage. But now nobody talks about it. And I, I don't know why. The first, Maybelline's lipsticks. Their matte lipsticks are just amazing. And I have a lot of them. And this especially was in the shade Raw Chocolate. Mm, this would go beautifully. But I think we have to go a little more mauve on the lips. The second lipstick that I had to recommend was L'Oreal's lipsticks. Do me a favor if you have not tried L'Oreal's lipsticks. Please do try. Especially in this nude packaging. I mean you would love it. Uh, even that is. It's going to be a little cool toned. I think. Even if it is like a warm tone look or a cool tone look or a mauve look, everything would look beautiful with this eye look because we have incorporated like the cool tones on the lower lash line and warmer tones on the upper eyelid. The third brand that I have to recommend and everybody was talking about this brand like quite a few years ago and that is from MAC. And I have the shade Nude Jouet. It's more of like the mauve tone lipstick. Do you guys remember? I have a mini with me. Do you guys remember the matte lipsticks? I mean, so I am going to apply this today. Just to give a homage to MAC. I could have gone with my Buxom's gloss. Even that was all the talk. Though I think those were the first lip glosses that people loved and that's how the lip gloss journey began for the beauty industry. I mean, yeah, I absolutely love this look. This is so me. I absolutely love it. Now let's just set our face with our old favorite and that's Milani's Make It Last Setting Spray. I mean, I use this all the time. <laughs> so if you are a regular watcher, you know. Oh my god, I just love the way everything came out. So that's our final look. And that tells us that we don't need to run after the new releases all the time. Whatever is in our collection, we can like use the best out of it. I mean, I just loved this look. And I, this is so me. I mean, the mauve tones, the neutral tones, the purples. It's so me. I absolutely love this. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's look. And if you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9am Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!